Good evening. This evening's reading is taken from Hebrews, the second chapter. For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking. It has been testified somewhere, What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou carest for him? Thou didst make him for a little while lower than the angels. Thou hast crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjective in subjection under his feet. Yet this Jesus, for a little while, while he was made lower than the angel, is now crowned with glory and honor because of his suffering and death, so that by his grace and by the grace of God we might taste death for every that he might taste death for everyone. You see, it's really, it's just a matter of perspective. And every time that I come in here into the church, it's always seeing Jesus looking up. You know, the, the idea that God is sitting above the heavens and the stars and there's no way to approach Him. Yet, our theology, our understanding of the way God looks at us is, is that He does not stay high, but He becomes low for us. He suffers and dies for our sake. So in some ways, it's kind of like looking out at the, the balcony, and, and for a little while, I'm on equal footing with this Jesus who towers above the heavens and the stars. He doesn't take away his glory or his splendor, but only in his relationship. God sees to the heart uh, our need, our anxiousness, and meets us. And so as we change perspective in life, so it is that Christ rises to meet us or descends to the lower depths to be able to relate to our suffering and our pain. It's a very simple thing. Well, not really. For God, it's simple. For us, it's hard. But to know that God is there where we are in our suffering and in our pain, and He has not withheld any of His grace or mercy or promise from us, but that He indeed is ever near. For a little while, He was a little lower than the angels, so that we might know the comfort of His love and His promise that never ends. Shall we pray? Good and gracious Heavenly Father, you soar like the sun and the stars, you rise above everything in life, and yet for our sake, for our own uh, sinfulness, you became like one of us. So as we change perspectives in life and as we view you, help us to see you more clearly nearer to us so that not only we might identify with your love, but that we might be transformed by that love as well. Now for all these things we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. It's a wonderful perspective. Jesus, who sits above us on this day, is now one of us on our level as he comes to us in his grace and mercy. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. And may God bless.